Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today we'll be looking at Antamoeba histolytica. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Thankfully, Picmonic is sponsoring today's video. Picmonic is an audio-visual learning platform that is tailored to assess the needs of medical students. Picmonic provides valuable resources for medical students, like video lectures, visual mnemonics, quizzes, study scheduler, and more. If you guys are interested in signing up on Picmonic, I've got you a discount code MedZohrov and the link in the description that will give you 20% off on your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Go sign up and have fun learning! Antamoeba histolytica is an anaerobic parasitic amoebazone. It's a parasite that causes diseases in human beings and it is responsible for causing amoebiasis and amoebic liver abscess. Each parasite has got two names. One is its genus name and second one is its species name. So, Antamoeba is its genus name and Histolytica is its species name. And it belongs to the family Antamoebidae. It has got two forms, one is trophozoite and one is cyst. Here in this picture, you can see this is the cyst. It is stained with iodine. These two are the trophozoites. Lecture outline, we are done with the introduction. Now we'll be having a surprise quiz of Antamoeba histolytica so that we can assess ourselves how much we know about this parasite prior to actually knowing this parasite. So this is the surprise quiz I was talking about. I've got this quiz from Picmonic. We've got 12 questions. I'll read the question and we'll let you read the options by yourself. And I'll then give you three seconds to guess the answer. Then after three seconds, I'll reveal the answer. Question number one is, which microscopic finding or histological description is associated with Antamoeba histolytica? And the correct answer is cyst with four nuclei. And also read this description that is helpful for you. During your assessment of the patient with Antamoeba histolytica, which of the following is most likely to be seen? And the correct answer is right upper quadrant pain. Question number three. During your assessment of patient with Antamoeba histolytica, which of the following is most likely to be seen? It's liver abscess. Next question. Which food or edible item is most likely associated with an infection of Antamoeba histolytica? And the correct answer is ingestion of cysts in food and water. Question number five. Which of the following medications is associated with treating Antamoeba histolytica infection? And the correct answer is metronidazole. Question number six. Which of the following findings is most likely associated with Antamoeba histolytica? It's anchovy paste. Question number seven. Which of the following medications is associated with treating Antamoeba histolytica? It's iodoquinol. Question number eight. Which of the following is most likely associated with Antamoeba histolytica? It's flask shaped ulcers. Question number nine. Antamoeba histolytica is most likely which of the following? And the correct answer is protozoa. Question number ten. Which microscopic finding or histological description is associated with Antamoeba histolytica? And the correct answer is red blood cells in the cytoplasm of a trophozoid. Question number 11. During your assessment of a patient with Antamoeba histolytica, which of the following is most likely to be seen? It's bloody diarrhea. Which of the following is most likely associated with Antamoeba histolytica? It's amoebiasis. 
If you guys are interested in attempting more quizzes like that on Picmonic, I've got you a discount code, that's MedZuchruf, and the discount link in the description that will give you 20% off on your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Go sign up and attempt such fun quizzes. Morphology. Entamoeba histolytica has got two forms. One is trophozoid, as you can see there in this picture, and one is cyst, as you can see this one. Let's start talking about trophozoid first. It is motile, growing, feeding, and invading form of the entamoeba. Its shape is not fixed due to constantly changing position. Its cytoplasm is granular. We'll have a look at its picture in just a moment. It has got a small central nucleolus with fine chromatin granules in it. It also has a nuclear membrane that's present around that nucleolus. The trophozoite of Entamoeba histolytica has slow gliding movement due to its pseudopods. As you can see in this picture, this is the trophozoite. It has got this small central nucleus and its shape is not fixed because of its constantly changing position and it's moving with the help of the pseudopods there is the nuclear membrane and these are the fine chromatic granules now let's look at the cyst cyst is the infective form of entamoeba histolytica it is round in shape and it is surrounded by a highly refractile membrane that is cyst wall we'll look at that in just a moment and it contains four nuclei and it is non-motile as compared to trophozoite which is motile here you can see the cyst it has got this cell wall around it and it is round in shape. We cannot see the nuclei there, but it actually has four nuclei in it. Habitate. Hosts. Human beings are the hosts of Entamoeba histolytica, but it has got no animal reservoir. Transmission. The route of transmission of Entamoeba histolytica is fecal oral route. It is actually transmitted by consumption of fecal contaminated food or water. One really high yield thing to mention here is that cysts are ingested in the contaminated food or water, not the trophozoites. Pathogenesis. It starts with the first step that is transmission, the ingestion of cysts. The second one is cysts are converted to trophozoites, then trophozoites start colonization, and then in the fourth step, they invade the intestinal epithelium, and in the fifth step, they causes the flask-shaped ulcers, and in the sixth step, they progresses to different organs, especially the liver, where the entamoeba causes what? Amoebic liver abscess. Amoeba causes amoebiasis. The ingested cysts differentiate into trophozoites in the ileum, and then these trophozoites colonize the cecum and colon in the large intestine. Then they invade the colonic epithelium and secrete some enzymes that cause localized necrosis. Then little inflammation occurs in this area. Lesion is formed which reaches the muscularis layer. Then a flask shaped ulcer is formed because the epithelium is almost invaded. Then this ulcer can undermine and destroy large areas of intestinal epithelium. And then what will happen, this disease will progress. It will progress to different areas, progression into submucosa leads to invasion of portal circulation by trophozoites. Systemic disease occurs in liver that is liver abscess and liver abscess contains the trophozoites of entamoeba histolytica clinical findings dysentery that is bloody and mucus containing diarrhea there will be discomfort in lower abdomen there will be flatulence tenesmus weight loss is seen fatigue amoeboma that is kind of a granuloma that is formed and Let's talk about the clinical findings of amoebic abscess. Amoebic abscess is formed in liver, so there will be pain in right upper quadrant because this is the region of the liver, and then there will be weight loss, a fever, liver will be tender and enlarged, and there is a diagnostic criteria that is ankyly paste, that is yellowish in color. Lab diagnosis. We will need samples of feces, blood, rectal swab, sputum, liver abscess aspirates, or certain scrapings. Then we'll go for microscopy, and under microscope, we will see the trophozoites and cysts in fresh, warm feces. Trophozoites contain ingested red blood cells. I'll show you in just a moment. And it has got no fixed shape, and its color is magenta. That's kind of purple pink color let me show you this is how the trophozoite looks like these are the ingested red blood cells this is its nucleus and it has got this magenta color when cysts are observed under microscope they appear circular in shape and they are stained with iodine wet mount 
and we stain cysts with trichome stain and there's another diagnostic criteria for liver abscess and that is NKV paste. We'll also find that in the patient suffering from amoebiasis or amoebic liver abscess. This is how the cyst looks like. It is kind of orange brown in color at the moment. It has got its cyst wall. It actually has four nuclei in it which are not visible at the moment. Other tests that we can go for are PCR, the polymerase chain reaction. We can also go for serologic testings and radiology. Radiology will show us the enlarged liver. Treatment, metronidazole, tenidazole, paramomycin, and iodoquinol are used to treat amoebiasis, amoebic liver abscess, and symptoms associated with them. Prevention, avoid fecal contamination of food or water, try to cook food properly, avoid eating undercooked food, proper hygiene is necessary, proper sanitation is necessary, avoid night soil that is human feces as a fertilizer. Alright guys, let's review everything in this really cool short table. The organism we discussed today is Entamoeba histolytica and it is responsible for causing amoebiasis and liver abscess that is called as amoebic liver abscess. Mode of transmission is via fecal oral route and by consuming fecal contaminated food or water. Hosts are humans and there is no animal reservoir. Diagnosis is based on microscopy, PCR, serology, radiology. Diseases caused by entamoeba histolytica are treated with metronidazole, tenidazole, paramomycin and iodocunol. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions, leave them below in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, assalamu alaikum.